full time from St James's Park and it has finished Newcastle 2, Manchester United 0 and oh my days, what an absolutely fantastic performance from Newcastle this afternoon against Manchester United. Newcastle today were absolutely world class. They were absolutely world class and Man United, they got absolutely battered, you know. All the stats was you could you, it literally says on the stats, all the stats it was all Newcastle. It was all Newcastle. They were just they were brilliant. They were absolutely brilliant. But yeah, um anyway, you know, of course I just don't know what to say. Newcastle was just absolutely fantastic and you know of course, you know, Newcastle probably wanted a bit of revenge after of course Newcastle did lose <coughs> pardon me. Of course, Newcastle did lose the Carabao Cup final against Manchester United back in February. So, uh, Newcastle were probably happy with that, um, to be honest, uh, to win today, to get a little bit of revenge on them. And Newcastle, you know, they were like they were, they were like sixth, you know, they were six points off top four a few, few months ago, like a month ago, if that. You know, their Champions League dreams were over. And look at them now, they're third. And now, and now Newcastle fans can be saying... All my days, we could be playing Champions League next season. And to be fair, if Newcastle do get Champions League next season, then fair play. Because if you think about it, about two years ago, Newcastle were in a relegation fight. They sacked Steve. They sacked Steve Bruce. And to be fair, that you know they had a crap ownership. They had a crap manager. They got rid of the owner. They got rid of Steve Bruce. They got the Saudi ownership. They got Eddie Howe and. Life at Newcastle is just fantastic at the moment, you know. Um, and you know Eddie Howe, you, what he's done, you know, took taking Newcastle from from nearly being relegated to now to now na maybe being in the Champions League next season is just unbelievable. But yeah, um, you know the atmosphere, the atmosphere inside St James's Park today once again it was absolutely rocking. It was rocking, you know, every time they won the council, yeah, go on, lads, go, go. And the atmosphere was just unbelievable inside St. James's Park this afternoon. And, um, you know, of course, looking at both goals, uh, both goals were, for, well, both goals were headers, actually. Uh, Newcastle's first goal was actually very, really good, if I have to be honest. Um, it was, um, I think someone passed it to Gimaraj. Gimaraj crossed it. It was headed on back into the box by Sir Maxman. And there was Joe Willock, free goal to head home to make it 1-0 uh, Newcastle. And to be fair, it was really good football by Newcastle. And the second goal, I think it was a free kick. I wasn't actually watching because I think I was like on my phone or something. Um, but yeah, um, it, was a, it was a good ball into the box and a good header by Wilson in the 88th minute to finish off Man United. Um, but Newcastle were brilliant. You can you can just tell by stats how dominant Newcastle were today. You could you could just tell at, by the stats how dominant and how fantastic Newcastle were today. And you know they've got some big games coming up. They've got West Ham away on Wednesday, which is a big game. Then they've got a tough game against Brentford away. So the next two games are kind of big because as we are approaching. The business end of the season is going to get very. It's going to get important now. Um, the games are going to come thick and fast, and uh, the games are going to come thick and fast. Um, but yeah, but Newcastle were brilliant, and if, if Newcastle keep if Newcastle keep playing like this, they will be they will be playing Champions League next season. I can I can tell you that now. If Newcastle keep up, if Newcastle keep playing like this, they will be playing in the Champions League next season. But Man United. I don't know what's happened then. Considering about two months ago, they were five points behind Arsenal. Five. And now they're 11 points behind Man City. City are eight points behind Arsenal. So 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Man United are now nine. If my maths is correct, Man United are now 19 points behind Arsenal. 19. And they were five points behind them a few months ago. Which is, that's just incredible. I don't know what's happened to Man United. They were five points on Arsenal. And now they're 19. Now they're 19. They've been, and they've, they were, they were in the title race. That, Man United are not winning the title. 
There is absolutely no change. Your, your title hopes are gone, Man United fans. You have been clawed and dragged in to the Champions League race. Because if, if we beat Everton tomorrow, you lot, you lot are fifth. You lot are out the top four. And um, I just... I don't know what's happened to Man United, you know, but of course, Man United got a big game themselves. They got Brentford on the same night as Newcastle. Um, and to be fair, Brentford are doing well this season. Um, it, getting a getting a point yesterday at Brighton, which is, you know, it's a good result. Brighton are a good team. Um, but, the, but Man United got a big game as well against Brentford at Old Trafford. And if Man United lose that game, they are in deep trouble going into their weekend game on Saturday against Everton at Old Trafford. But yeah, for me, man of the match, for me, Alan Max, man. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I know Newcastle were very dominant on the left, on the right, sorry. Um, but but Max, man, on the left, you know, he does all his skills. And he he, he just had a very good performance. Um, and to be fair, Gimaraj did well. So did, um, so did Willock, you know, defensively they were good. All round, it was a van, it was just very good performance all round by Newcastle and Eddie Howe said um in the change room to the players keep this up let's keep this up we've got a big game next keep this up and then we'll sure um be in the Champions League and everyone's like yeah and yeah anyway just a fantastic win for Newcastle and if there is any Newcastle fans will you get top four any Man United fans just put in the comments before they turn off what went wrong so yeah in a bit up the tune actually no not up the tune because that's not a good result for us but yeah Anyway, in a bit.